that, you know, during marathon, right, to pace so that when the mile 20 comes, you actually look at that sign and you think Sunday, fun day, run day, mm -hmm. road, you know, it, it, there's some meaning to it, right? So the sign, right? So just that idea that it is fun day, and it really is for you guys, right, since you will have prepared. So um, I want to share one story here with um, a professional athlete. His name is David Lee. He gave me the, uh, the okay to share the story. Um, he worked, uh, he played for the Knicks, uh, two-time All-Star, uh, here, you know David, okay, and now he plays for the Warriors, a great, great NBA ball player, even better human being, and last summer I had the honor, and this summer as well, to work with him, and one of the biggest things we worked on, of course movements, of course eating well, but the think well component, which is something he never did, and he never realized how, much, how bad he really needed it, so we worked on some meditation, we worked on some visualization, some breathing techniques, things like that. And he called me during the season, towards the end of the season, and he said, hey coach, thanks so much. And I said, well, for Dee. And he, um, he simply said that preparing for the season, I was able to breathe and really kind of pace my body. And during the season, I was able to remind myself that, okay? And not only that, but since I was reminding, even during timeouts, I was able to sit down and almost like recenter myself, recharge myself, right? And there's gonna be different mile markers that you're gonna start to feel that total, that stamina, and doing some of visualization now can prep you for that work, okay? So um, I'm gonna have you stand up one more time, okay, I promise. I'm gonna share this exercise that I shared with him, that I share with many, many clients, and what I want you to do, you know, for anything on, is um, I'm just gonna have you come up under here, you can feel like the rib cage and the other side, you can just hold right here for a minute, okay? All right, and, um, I just want to have you breathe in, kind of like a little hug, just have you love yourself. It's part of the process, right? It's important. So if you come through here, you can feel underside, and I just want you to breathe in really deep. Breathe in, and then just go ahead and breathe out. This is something that you can do on a daily basis, okay? And at least like once a day for five minutes or so. Go ahead and breathe in again. I have you just hold right here. You can feel the rib cage expand. Now, Kevin, I'm gonna Put you on just for a minute, okay? So Kevin, go ahead and breathe in again. You can just see, I'll see Kevin. You can continue to breathe though. Breathe in. See now, Kevin just raised, doing a great job, and the chest came up, right? What I'd love for you to do is be able to less of the chest come up, go ahead and release, and more of these kind of ribs expand, right? So think of rather than that here, because that's going to be stamina, right? This is like short burst, right? But if you can train your body and your breath now to be able to, right, to be able to breathe in a way that you expand, then everything expands. Right? You can expand, you take yourself to the limits, you can expand your limits, right? And running a marathon to me is expanding your limits. So, um, so I'm going to have you do now one more, two, uh, um, two more times. So as you breathe in, I'm going to have you breathe in for four seconds. Okay, four seconds, breathe in. Acknowledge our breath, two seconds, hold, and then release for six seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, if you're training with somebody, which I hope you are, right? I hope you have somebody to be able to work with. Um, Kevin, I'll use your again if you don't mind. And as Kevin turns around here, if you're working with somebody and you want to work on the breath with, whether it's your partner or your training partner, um, as you breathe out, go ahead. Breathe in. You breathe out. You can start to push on his hands here. Okay, and then breathe out again. Breathe in. And as you breathe in, breathe in I'm pushing in. That's going to... Breathe out. Nice job. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Hang on. That's awesome. Thank you so much. So as you're working, you have to imagine it's like a, an anaconda. <laughs> but you're actually really tightening up the ribcage and making the person increase their, their inhalation, right? It's really key. And really increase the body and the breath. Um, thank you so much, guys. I have one piece here that I want to share. I'll have you sit down, and I'm just going to I'll walk you through one more thing. And see how we do on time. We good? Good. Cool. Guys, first of all, thank you so much. I know I have to stand up, sit down, rub shoulders and everything. <laughs> I hope you're having some fun. Um, okay, last but not least, um, I would love for you one more time, I promise, you're gonna shut your eyes for only one minute, okay? One more minute. Okay, now, you do that one more time. Maybe two, maybe two. <laughs> okay, I just have to close your eyes. And typically with your eyes closed, in a room where there, there is uh, light in the room, your eyelids would be 